Hey there, you're watching Sitam Church Online. Have you subscribed? Have you hit that uh, notification bell? No better time than the present to do so. And as you do that and hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified uh, whenever there's new content out. My name is George Murichu and I serve as a pastor in Sitam. And today we're talking about following Jesus. This really is a follow-up to our previous video. We talked about gains, gains in the spiritual life, advancing, taking uh, giant leaps in our spiritual life. And this happens when we have a close, approximate and intimate relationship with Jesus. I want to challenge you this year to make that one of your goals, that every single day you will be found following Jesus, that today you will be found closer in your walk with him. I, I think of this uh, prayer that is often made, uh, especially at the start of a new year. At least I make it when I turn a new chapter in my life. That Lord, in the new chapter of my life, now that I've celebrated a birthday, now that I've celebrated an anniversary, now that you've ushered me into a new year, Lord, I want to hear your voice more clearly. Lord, I want to follow you more nearly. And Lord, I want to love you more dearly. I can say it once again. Lord, I want to hear your voice more clearly. Number two, I want, to, I want to follow you more nearly. And number three, I want to love you more dearly. Friends, this is the call to follow Jesus. And I drew this from uh, Matthew 4:19. Very simple words, the words of the Lord to his first disciples. And this is what, this is what he said. He said to them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. This call is not just a call to Simon uh, Peter and his brother Andrew. Andrew is the one who in fact introduced Simon to Jesus. This is a call for as many of us as are hearing this, watching this, and you know that there's someone out there who, who needs to make that commitment to Christ. You can pass this over to them. And it's also a call to those of us who are already in a relationship with Jesus. I'd like to, to challenge you that threefold challenge. How will you hear his voice more clearly? It is by being in his word. It is by, by having the mind of Christ, developing the mind of Christ. Letting this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. And at a personal level, how I do that is I make a commitment to spend time not only in the scriptures, but regularly in the gospels, to immerse myself, to see up close and candid the kind of life Jesus lived, the kind of words he spoke, the kind of deeds that Jesus did, to immerse myself in my master's life, to see how he interacted with people, to see how he drew people to himself or to the Father, to see how he engaged the Father in prayer. If you and I are going to hear his voice clearly this year, we need to be found in the Word. So I want to challenge you to take up a Bible reading plan, a start off, if you've never done it, start off with the New Testament, a chapter a day. And in a short while, you will be done with the whole New Testament. In fact, they say in 90 days or so. Take up an, a, a Bible reading plan. And they are available online. They are available on various apps. Number two, if you and I are to follow Jesus, we need to do so nearly. We need to stay close to him. We don't want to follow him at a distance like his disciples when they betrayed him or when they forsook him. You and I need to be walking closer and closer and closer with Jesus this year. 2021, I purpose, I desire to follow my Lord more nearly, to love him more dearly. Time would fail me to expound on these others, but I want to leave this nugget with you. The question that Jesus posed to Peter is a question of love. The question of, do you love me? 
Simon, do you love me more than these? And I wonder, friends, as, as, as we're starting off this new year, it's still very young, very novel, very exciting perhaps. I want to pose to you the challenge of developing such an intimate relationship with Jesus. And this will happen when your prayer life goes, goes into the deep end, goes a notch deeper. When you, when you spend time with him in prayer, when you pause and listen to him, when you listen to his voice, when you do Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that he is God. This year, I'm challenging you to follow him and follow him by listening to his voice more clearly. I'm challenging you to follow him more nearly and I'm challenging you to follow him more dearly, to love him more dearly with all your heart, soul, strength and mind. And when you do this, your life will not be the same. He will mold you. He will transform you. He will change you. He will cause you to be a magnet, a, a force that draws people to himself. May this be your experience in 2021. May this be our shared experience. And you can do this by passing this video over to someone else. And thanks for watching Sitam Church Online. May we follow Jesus. Amen.